Everyone. I think on the societal ills we have to uh, create that to the next generation. By the way, why are some of his conversation voiced and some are not? Not right. It'll take time to solve this problem. However, we must start by making small changes. You. I hope you uh, gleaned something useful from my today's speech. Regardless of the audience size, you must convey your thoughts as if you're talking one by one. By the way, I forgot to ask you last time we spoke. Why do you want to become a politician? Um, I want to change the world. Hmm? Well, I'm sure uh, you'll iron out the details as you go along. May I ask you one more question? What kind of politician do you want to be? One with conviction. Yes, don't ever forget that. Although, what's important is that what lies within. You're right. Allow me to give you some advice. If you aspire to get into politics, uh, politics, you must possess a central philosophy. What is that you want to accomplish? That is the foundation of a great speech. You do well to remember that. Uh, what I want to accomplish. That was helpful. I'm glad, by the way, my philosophy is Very well. never give up until your voice is heard. To get your message across, be tenacious uh, in uh, conveying your thoughts to the audience. Have a firm point of view and communicate it clearly. That's the first rule of negotiating. <laughs> you have me uh, reliving the fighting spirit I had when I first became a politician. She explained the basics of speech giving feel like my bond is growing deep. All right. Get the hell out of here. Mm. Yeah, right. I'm no good. That's not true. Ah, my apologies. We're done for today. Charm. Man, my kindness, my charm, and my guts, I lie way behind. I shall ask you again another time. Way behind. I wanted to thank you for today. I'm sorry you had to see my uh, uh, me acting like a, such a coward right after I gave you that self-important lecture too. But I'm quite a stubborn individual myself. I hope today's incident was at least a good example of what not to do but what do you think did you take anything useful from it um it was helpful ah that's a relief i have to say it was most nostalgic for me it reminded me of my early days i hope uh, our talks from now on will keep giving you the direction you need So can I... No, I'm gonna go to sleep uh, directly, right? Yeah, okay. No shopping for today. Hi. Fancy seeing you here. Alright, I guess Shujin was in this direction too. Still, I wouldn't have expected to run into you at this uh, time. Perhaps it really is fate. How are you doing? Not bad. <laughs> Relaxed as always, I see. I've been getting interviewed a lot lately, so I've been wondering how to answer such mm. questions. I see now that there's no need to be so roundabout with my responses. Ta uh, talking with you helps me re realize many things. If it isn't too much trouble, may I speak with you again sometime? Sure. Why not? Hey, I heard from one of my upperclassmen, but apparently there's some kind of weirdo in Kichijoji. Even at a glance, you can supposedly tell right away that he's bad news. You live there, don't you? Are you okay? Oh, you mean the old man in Harmony Alley? My parents were talking about him too. Doesn't that just make you wonder? I'm thinking I might try and him today. Who knows that he'll do it if yourself? Yeah, that's the guy. Mm. Yeah, we, we need to go to Mementos. Okay. Uh, 
curious. Right. Yeah, we need to go to Mementos. That's the Mementos guy. Game is telling me to to go there. How tragic. Ah, oh, another lesson. Before I realized it, we're halfway through June. It's the only month of the year with no holidays, and it's filled with rain, truly a season of hell. I'm exaggerating, you say ha, ah, you're all just ignorant. After all, what's falling from the sky is acid rain that can melt metal. Takakun, let's test your knowledge and imagination. Go on. A try. When washing your hair with dissolved copper, your hair color changes. What color do you think it turns? Green. That's what my mother told me. That is correct. Because she tried like dyeing it with like the... I don't know how the chemicals are called in English, you know? If you dye your hair blonde, there's stuff in there um, that makes them blonde. There's one specific chemical and you can use it, use only this chemical. To make them blonde and apparently my mother tried it someday and while she told me that she also told me that you can dye your hair green with that by the way magnesium turns your hair white and rust will turn your hair red however acid rain can't melt gold or silver if you want to dye your hair gold, use bronze coins. Thinking you could save money by skipping a visit to the hair salon? Saloon? Salon? It seems you still don't understand the horror of acid rain. I know what purple rain is. Hey, did you get that question? I wasn't even close. Maybe he actually is smart. Nice going. London once had acid rain on the level of stomach acid. More than 4,000 people died. Yeah, uh, there's a... Actually, about this incident, uh, there's a, a YouTube documentary about this. Go watch it. It's really good. Perhaps one day such a deathly rain will fall on Japan. My heart too is overcast, just like the rain that falls on the city. I don't remember the details, but I think there was like some industrial accident, if I remember correctly. And it all began to rain down. My heart uh, too is overcast, just like the rain that falls on the city. <sighs> I'm tired of thinking up witty comments. It's oh good, you haven't gone home yet. Nice, Kabakami. But let me... London rain... Uh, accident... Let's try to Google this. Wow, my internet is really slow right now because I'm uploading... a lot of stuff. My day is basically uploading videos all day. 1952 uh, Come on Wikipedia Looks like it can't really uh, uh, load right now. I think I need to um, I need to contact my internet provider about this uh, The great smog catastrophe I have to translate. Uh, from the 5th to the 9th December 1952. Because of extreme... Uh, wait. Is there like a English version of this? Uh, this is a... a, a Accident. Ah, there it is. The English version. 
Just give me a second. I'm sorry to interrupt. For a for a history lesson. But sometimes you gotta remember things, right? The Great Smog of London uh, or Great Smog of 90 was a severe air pollution event that affected London, England in December of 1952, a period of unusually cold weather combined with anti-cyclone and windless conditions collected airborne pollutants, mostly arising from the use of coal to form a thick layer of smog over the city. It lasted from Friday the 5th to Tuesday the 9th, 90, uh, December 1952, then dispersed quickly when uh, the weather changed. The smog caused major disruption by reducing visibility and even penetrating indoor areas far more severely than previous smog events called T-Supers. Government medical reports in the weeks following the event estimated up to 4,000 people that uh, had died as a direct result of the smog and 100,000 more were made by uh, more were made ill by the smog's effects on the human resp respiratory tract. More recent research suggests that the total number of fatalities may have been considerably greater with estimates of between 10 and 12,000 deaths. 100,000 people. Holy... I can't say that on YouTube, but you know what I mean. So, all good. Haven't you gone home yet? Nijimisan's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. Who's Nijima? Makoto Nijima-san is the class president of Shujin Academy. The student council room is on the third floor, next to the library. <laughs> Got it? <sighs> Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Nijima's the girl who keeps following you around, right? What can she want? I don't know, but I'm gonna pause. Uh, I'm gonna pause for a second. Mr. Kamashida and Matarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up! Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? <laughs> 